In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I got money through Boss Revolution that was sent to me from overseas. If this video is what would interest you, I'm going to share with you guys my experience, so just keep watching till the end. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Glory Rex, a poet, a content creator, and a sound engineer. If you are new to my channel, you're welcome. I have loads of amazing videos for you. Check out my handwork series, tutorials, random vlogs, and everything I have created just to make you get certain things done with ease. And I'm sure you would love it here. So hit on this cute subscribe button, turn on post notification. So when I post videos, you will definitely be notified. And if you have been coming back to watch my videos, thank you so much. I am really grateful and I love you. Thank you so much. So now let's talk about the topic for today. Have you heard of Boss Revolution? If you haven't, let me explain it to you guys. Boss Revolution is an online money transfer platform that you send money to your loved one from wherever you are to Nigeria. I would say it's secure and it's a safe way to send money to your loved ones here in Nigeria. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Boss Revolution from the perspective of a receiver here in Nigeria. So let's just get right into it. Let's talk about how it works. All you need to do is create an account when you've downloaded the free app, then you select the designation of where you want the money to be transferred, then you would automatically see the transfer fee and exchange rates. And you select the payment method. It actually varies from country to country. Then you add your recipient information or you choose from your contact. So it's up to you to decide. Now, let me share my own experience with you guys because that is what I always do here on my platform. So I was told to go to GT Bank to cash the money. When I got there, I had to do my bank verification. That's your BVN. If you don't know what that is, I have done that video. I'm going to link it up here. So go check out how to get your BVN done. So let's go back to the topic. So I had to get my bank verification done. It was printed on a slip. So on that slip, I was told to write my phone number, my email, and then I submitted it to the person attending to me. So that's it. And I got my money. Just note that whoever is sending money to you will tell you which bank to go if need be. The process is not difficult. Let's just hope that when you get to the bank, network will be good. And then you get it done faster because that is the only thing that may delay you. In my own case, I was told to wait for an hour. So that's actually one of the, what I would call the challenges with getting money straight from the bank. So you guys should share your own experience with me in the comment section because I would love to know your own experience because when I even went to the bank, it's rained on that day. So you can imagine. So it's one of the things we'll talk about later in this video. Then let's talk about other things. So... When I submitted the slip to the person attending to me, she gave me my money in cash. So you guys can see it in this video. Of course, I was excited because I know the stress I've been through trying to update my BVN. So it's up to you to decide if you want to save the money or you want to change it at wherever you can change it. Then, but don't ask me what I did with my money because it's my money. <laughs> in case you don't get your cash the same day it was sent, just don't worry. Because in my own case, I got a lot of the money on the 4th of June. I actually cashed it out on the 11th of June. So that's to make you understand that you can always get it another time. But just, you know, work towards whatever is making you have that delay. In my own case, I had to sort out my NIN and my BVN. I made a video of that. I'm going to leave it in the description box and also link it up here for you guys to go check it out. And just in case, it will give you an idea of what to do when filling the form, especially for new brides that want to change your name from your maiden name to your husband's name. I actually shared in details the mistake I made while filling my NIN and also I shared things you should look out for not to make the same mistake because it's very expensive to correct and it's really challenging as well. I had to capture for my NIN three times before I got it. It wasn't a good experience and I don't want to be saying negative things on my channel. I've told myself I just want to stay positive on this channel. So please avoid anything that would make you make any mistake. But if you make a mistake at all, of course it can be corrected. So just check out that video in the description box and I'll link it as well, like I said. So that's why I had that delay. So in case you have similar issues, don't worry, you are in good hands. Also, when I went to the bank the first time, a lady advised that 
I can tell the person sending the money to to just change the name. So that is another possibility that you may you know consider. The person sending the money can just cancel and just change the name so that you can get that sorted. If you have more questions regarding this, your bank customer service provider they should be able to give you detailed explanation i'm just only sharing my experience with you guys and it may not apply to everyone just like i always say these videos i create are my own experience and i just hope it's actually helpful to someone out there another amazing thing was i actually got some naira notes and i was like oh wow what's this about so i had to ask questions so i was told that it's cbn incentive you know whenever you get a dollar there's five naira added to it so you can actually do the math and enjoy yourself encourage people to send money to you so you actually make some free money from cbn <laughs> that's just me being funny so now let's talk about the convenience of going to the bank to cash this money it may be stressful considering the distance and waiting time in the bank but also i would say um it's a win-win because you get to cash your money in dollars and then if you want to save it it's your choice and if you want to change it it's your choice as well and for those that may see it as stressful that's why you have options of either pick up or bank deposits you know so you can actually consider that and do i think this option is a better way to send money i would say i don't have any negatives for now if you are abroad and you're thinking of how to send money to your loved one here in nigeria i just shared my own experience with you and i'm sure this may give you an idea if it's positive or if you don't see it as necessary so i'd love to hear from you guys what you think about getting money from boss revolution have you tried it share your experience in the comment section are you considering it as an option to send money to your loved one tell me as well in the comment section and also what do you think about cbn incentive because that is actually the juicy part of it the bonus the extra cash right so just let me know let me hear your thoughts in the comment section you know i love you guys from the depth of my heart these videos i create is just to point you towards the right direction if you are struggling with anything these videos i create may be helpful so all you can just do to support me is just to subscribe to my channel like my videos share it with anyone that it may be helpful to and i would be grateful to you guys so leave a comment in the comment section i remain my humble self glory rex and i love you guys from the depth of my heart and keep supporting me thank you so much god bless you have an amazing day okay bye